Hey, hey. I was just coming to find you. I was so worried. I'll be fine. I'm okay. Dr. Urbuck told me that you were in police custody for shooting Duke Lavery. Yeah, I was. I just got out. How did that happen? Why? Why were you arrested in the first place? I was found in the scene with the gun in my hand. What? What, uh, what scene? The garage and the Metro Court. Look, there's blood on the ground and, and some chain of events. I ended up holding the murder weapon. The detective West took me in. Tell me they're overnight and I just got out. So it's just like a big misunderstanding, right? I didn't say that. Are the police harassing you? Because I can tell them that you were with me all night long and that you just happened upon the murder scene and, and picked up the weapon, right? Now look, that room, it overlooks the terrace. Go interview the staff. I guarantee you they're going to tell you that Labor was there that afternoon and Carlos was going to kill him, but Hayden interrupted. So what's he do? He waits. Looks for a second chance and he found it tonight in the Metro Court garage. It all tracks. Yeah, it tracks. Except for now I got your guys breathing on my neck because they think I shot too. What are we going to do about that, huh? Yeah. No, you're right. They do. And that's exactly what we're going to let them think. It's not that simple. It is that simple. Duke Lavery is lying downstairs in the morgue right now. He was shot at point blank range. Yeah. You said Nathan found you with a murder weapon, but you're not the one who pulled the trigger, right? I can't get into this with you right now. Okay. It's a simple question. Did you kill Duke or not? I mean, I have... You know that I work for Julian and Jerome. In a garage. When you asked Sam to talk to her father, you said you don't want to be involved in anything criminal. Regardless, if you work for Julian in any capacity, people are going to assume that you work in his other business also. So what are you saying? That you left my bed and you went and killed Duke for Julian? I can't answer that. Yes, you can. There's going to be retaliation for this. And right now, I'm a target, okay? I don't want you to get hurt because of me, so right now, I... we can't be together. I don't like... What do you mean we can't be together? We are together. Last night, we finally got past all of our obstacles. I know. And then I left your house and everything changed. Look, I care about you. I care about your entire family. I cannot put you in danger. Jake, Listen, this... there's someone coming to avenge Larry. They're likely coming to me. I can't be next to you. I can't have you hurt. I can't risk that. Do you understand me? That's why we can't be together. I can't be next to you. You've got to understand me. Do you I understand? I understand. Me? I understand there's no way in hell I'm going to let you put me through this again. What do you mean again? Uh, um, I'm just saying that I... I... I've been through this before when I was involved with Jason. He pushed me away because he insisted his life was too dangerous for me. Guess he's right. No, it, it wasn't right that I couldn't be with the man I loved because of what he did for a living. I accepted it then, but I don't want to accept it now. I don't, I don't want to give up what we have for some unknown threat, some possible risk. All of life is a risk. What about your kids? Hmm? Bullets don't discriminate. Um, I'm gonna assume now that Duke is gone, Sonny is gonna resume control, and Sonny would never target me or my boys, or anyone innocent for that matter. Oh, yeah, I've heard about Sonny and his reputation, but just because he has a conscience doesn't mean everybody around him does. The only person risking his life is you. And if you're okay with that, then so am I. So don't even try to end things with me. Because it's not gonna happen. I didn't come this far to lose you.